Hello, hello, hello there, my crafty buds. It's your crafty bud, Peggy. And I'm cold. I'm very cold, just like a lot of you guys out there. Oh, my gosh. We got up this morning and had a wind chill uh, or uh, five degrees. I know some of you guys are probably saying, I wish we were five degrees, you know. But for us, where I'm at, this it's cold, y'all. <laughs> I'm not a happy camper. Guys, uh, th first of all, I'd like to thank each and every one of you for being here with me. I thank you, thank you, thank you. This is going to be a little bit of an informative video today. I'm going to share with you guys some projects as well as kick off the giveaway for our 500 subscribers. So this is kind of hidden in here, you guys. I'm not going to tout it up. Of course, everything applies. You have to be a subscriber. i got to be able to see that you're a subscriber for this, okay? And then I'll, I'll get with you here in a minute on what we're getting, okay? I'm working on a couple things for my lady still, guys. I'm so sorry. I haven't done much of nothing. I'm telling you, it's so that gun cold. My craft room, you can see your breath in there. There is no heat in that room at all, and space heaters just don't cut it. I mean, there's no ceiling in it. It's just, it's like being outside. <laughs> So I ain't been doing much. But I wanted to share with you guys uh, what I got for Christmas. One of the things, um, I've been uh, collecting these stamps here now. And I'm starting to get some of these from the Blue Fern Studios, you guys. I really am crazy about these. I'm going to try my hand at making my own washi tape. So I got, and then these are like the postal stamps. I'm working on a uh, journal right now. And I needed some of those kinds of stamps. I also finally broke down and got myself a pack of these finger daubers for my inking the edges of stuff. Uh, I've been using makeup squares forever. And it's just, uh, it's just a crappy way to be doing things. Um, anyways, guys, what I got for Christmas this year, too, I got a lot of goody stuff, you know, and... Um, my daughter sent me some handmade stuff down, and this is what I really love. And I wanted to share some of these beautiful flowers and stuff that my daughter's making. She's learned how to make these, and I mean, just look at these. She made snowflakes this year, y'all. She is really getting good. I told her I'd like some doilies and different things. And she's working on some stuff to put in the store. I'm going to try and get that up and running here pretty soon and uh, try to get a little secondary income coming in, maybe cut back a day at the old salt mine over there. But uh, this is what she made me this year, you guys, and I just love these. I thought these turned out super, super cute. And she's doing a really good job with them. And the butterflies, she's doing butterflies. Look at that teeny one. Here's a big fluffy one. And they've got the double wings on them, guys. She makes these big old fat daddy butterflies for me. I love these. Look at them. Just awesome there, sis. You're doing such a good job with your... And, I mean, just look at these. These are nice and tight little flowers. They're just gorgeous. I love them. Another little butterfly there. And then some more of these little snowflakes that she's made me. She's done really good. Got me some paper clay that I'm going to try uh, on one of my projects. And then she made me a bunch of pom-poms, y'all. I just love these. And then these. She made me a set this year. Now check these out. The little Scandinavian gnomes. Are those not adorable, you guys? I just love these. They're, they're heavy. She's filled them with rice or something where they can be cute little set around. And they go with the big mushroom. Check that out, y'all. Is that not the coolest stinking thing? I just love this. When I opened that for Christmas, I was just blown away by this cutie little set right here. But she said she made the mushrooms, and then she thought, well, it needs some little trolls or gnomes to go around it. So that's the set. Is that not the cutest? I just love what she did, don't you guys? Just super, super beautiful, all of these. <coughs> then, guys... I got involved in this kit that I got from Dreams Etc. Now, y'all need to check her out if you like to do kits. She's got great prices right now on the Seven Gypsies uh, journal kit. That the stickers in it alone is worth more than the price of the journal. I think it's uh, $29.99 for that one or $25.99. $24.99. It's either $25 or $29. Very worth it, y'all. I'm working on one of the journals now. I'll be showing you what I've done so far. 
But I got this one here was the calendar kit. And guys, she has this one for $19.99 and it comes with everything. Now, I painted the frame and stuff, but this is what hers looks like. And it comes with the little calendar flip frame, all of the embellishments, little wood pieces, just gorgeous. And it comes with seven sets of dies, guys, from Maya Rose. I mean, the die sets alone are worth more than $19.99. This is just three of the collections that I got. But this is how they come. You get them in collections. I got seven sets with this. And being that 2017 was already over with, gang, I just covered up my calendar pieces and left the month showing, like January. And this is what I decided to do with it. And then this is the back side of it, of January. And I've inked all the edges. I used every piece of this kit, y'all. Every single piece, I used it all. Everything that came with it. There's February. I thought that turned out really, really cute. And these have removable tags and stuff. I can journal on these, write on these, do whatever I like. There's March with the uh, little envelope there that opens up and everything. It's got a little tag inside. I'm not going to show you every little thing so this doesn't last forever. But this is one of the kits, and I couldn't stop, y'all. I started on this on a Saturday and finished it on a Sunday. I just kept going until it was all done. I just really had a blast. There's my Mother's Day one that I did. And it comes with your instructions and everything, y'all. And I just love it right now. Her uh, kits, like I said, are super cheap, super worth it. Mark found that little charm for me and brought it home because he seen I was working on this. Wasn't that funny? Even got the hubby involved. There's the back of that one. Look at this page. It comes with the little spools it did and everything. I just wrapped more twine around them that came with the kit there. <coughs> and I just think these are super, super cool. I just love them. And that's going to be a gorgeous little desk setter right there. I mean, just absolutely scrumptious these are. Look at the images. I mean, just absolutely gorgeous. I just love them. Love it, love it, love it. And then I painted the frame and used uh, all of the paper collection. I even fussy cut those little teeny tiny flowers out and layered them up around there. Of course, the uh, resin bows come with the kit, the butterflies, all of this. But this is what I decided to do with the kit, y'all. What do you think? I thought that was well worth $20 plus shipping and handling, you know. I just love it. I thought this was the most awesome little kit right here. And like I said, it comes with the instructions and everything. I just had a ball making this. I really, really did. <coughs> and that's one of the things I did. Then, oops, one of my tags fell out. Then, um, <coughs> one of the... Uh, I've been working a little bit on my book here, and y'all seen that I got the front cover of it all done and everything. There's a picture of me back in the day with the horses, and this is what I've done to the inside, guys. This is off to the races paper pack here, and I've started using some of the beautiful things that you ladies have sent me from the off to the race to the uh, horse and around challenge. I've made a pull out right here beautiful pictures and a place to journal right here on the front and it's got both sides and this is just where me and mark met and i've named it it begins and this is some of the horses and stuff that uh we took care of uh back in the day and this is what i've done with them i've stamped their names on all the fronts of them and and uh just did a little bit of distress ink around them and I've put uh, bell, uh, uh, acetate paper with the wax paper over them. And I've done that to all of them. And that's a nice little way to preserve these, I think. You know, instead of cutting them or mounting them and all this stuff, then I've got them all stuck right here in my awesome pocket where I can pull these out and look at them anytime I want to. And uh, they're not tore up or anything. So what do y'all think about that? That's the first inside pocket of the... Uh, off to the races uh, book. So I, I started on that a little bit. I love this little pullout right here. I think that is so cute. Uh, one of the little tags that one of you girls sent me from the horsing around. Uh, of course, you've seen I put all your chunk charms in the tree. I haven't decided yet which one I'm going to put on the book. 
I also made this. I'm uh, working on the uh, uh, Rose Cafe journal book uh, with Jennifer Bishop, uh, Dreams, etc. And I'm on part two of that. And I just took some of the paper and made one of my little books to match this. What do you think about that? I think that turned out really, really cute, don't y'all? And I want to put it in this journal somewhere, but I'm afraid it's going to be so thick and chunky. I don't know. <laughs> it might end up going to a gift or something, you know. But this is what I've done with this so far. I've reinforced all of the uh, paper holes and stuff on this because this is going to be quite chunky and large. But this is one of the uh, $25 or $29 journal kits. You buy the paper and print it yourself. I've got her file for this forever. And the paper is just scrumptious. As you can see from this tag right here, is that not most beautiful? And this is what I've done, guys. I've, I've inked the edges. This is just an envelope right here. And I've added broken jewelry to, beautiful edge trims and pieces. I've made a fabric tag here on the side, as well as the back. It's got double pockets here throughout. Um, a gorgeous, gorgeous bejeweled tag right here. That I, I just love that, don't you? Look at that. That's from the paper collection, you guys. Just beautiful, this Rose Cafe. Then her, she's done on vellum. I printed her out on vellum and used this beautiful washi that I have here on the side. Then here I've layered up a pocket with the envelope and more tags here for more journaling. Um, I've also bejeweled this little girl down here in the corner as one of my pockets. This is vellum paper that comes out here for journaling underneath. And I just think this turned out really good. This is one of the, the uh, postcards here. I've added a little bit of color to that and popped it out with some flower and bling there. And then this is another pocket uh, page, tag page actually, with a stationary tag. I've layered up fabric uh, cups here that I've also added texture paste to the tag as well as one of the cups here. I've added dye. I also fussy cut out my own spoon right here and added it, which looks like this. Isn't that gorgeous, you guys? Look at that spoon. I've even got texture on the handle of it there. Just beautiful. I just love how that turned out. So that's an extra one there. Bejeweled the side here. Another uh, fabric tag on the side for the flip. Then we've got an upside down flip here with a tag inside and then a beautiful journaling card here. Her tag she left plain, and I just went ahead and fabriced mine up some more here. Uh, you can still write on it. Then this here is made out of uh, envelopes, you guys, that I've layered and, and pieced together here. I've used lots of washi tape on this one. I've bejeweled it. Uh, I've got it to where you can add extra tags and stuff on this. I think this is turning out super, super good. The back of this I've done like that. Uh, there's one of my tags that I've made. I think that turned out really, really cute right there. Then I've got some extra pages in here uh, for journaling. Another envelope there, little rolls. And then I have this last page that I'm working on now that has a uh, stick pin on the bottom here. Beautiful graphic spot there. Uh, this will open like this, and then I'll finish that. And as I keep going with this, I'll keep you guys updated on how I'm doing with this. But do you like this so far? Do you think this is turning out pretty cool, you guys? Eventually, I want to start making some journals, and I'll have them in my store as well for you guys. And uh, to accent those, this is something that I'm working on as well. I'm making my own beads now, guys. And I will have some of these in the stores. I'll get it up and going. This is one of my beads that I've made. I think that's just absolutely scrumptious right there. What do you think? You guys like these? I'll put dangles on some of mine, extra beads around. And these are just boho journal beads is what I'm, I'm making. Uh, they're just fabric beads, you guys, that I've learned to make. I hope this all turns out real good so y'all can see these real good. I'm pretty proud of these. These are my first ones I've ever made. And I think they turned out just yummy. And like I said, I'll have stuff like this in my store as I go along. 
so you guys can get these too. I think these are going to look just gorgeous on journals and stuff. What do y'all think? I've used specialty fabrics and stuff from India and uh, stuff on these. And uh, they're just perfect. I think they turned out super cool. And uh, I'm anxious to hear what y'all think about these. Do you like my beads? These are my new beads, y'all. So I, I want to try to have them too for my store, like I said, so you guys can get access to, to some of my work if you like it. So let me know, okay? And then again, guys, it's time for 500 subscribers. And uh, y'all don't have to do anything. You don't have to send me nothing. You don't have to do anything for this except tell me that you want in. Make sure you put it down below here. We're going to do this for uh, two weeks. I think we'll... Uh, I tell you what, let's just end... Yeah, yeah, just two weeks. Let's just do this two weeks. Today's the second. Uh, we'll end this on the 15th. How's that? Uh, and this is what you're going in for, guys. I said 500 subscribers. This is my very first Santoral Mirabelle album. I want to say this is 5.5 by 8.5 with a 3-inch spine on this. Uh, this is all handmade out of Santoral Mirabelle and some clips from uh, Raindrops on Roses is in here. Uh, most of the flowers on the front are all handmade by me. I've uh, outlined the beautiful uh, page here with rhinestone bling on this. I've added beautiful lace trim on the back of this, stymons. And this is one of my heartfelt creations flowers that I did definitely make that and this on the front. Um, then I've got a beautiful, uh, like a steampunky closure here on the front with a gorgeous iridescent bead. Uh, bead. This has a hook and eye closure with a chiffon ribbon closing that. And then I'll just do a quick run through of this. This this video is further down the list on my on my site. Just look for the Santoral Mirabelle. And uh, you'll see the complete walkthrough of this album right here. And what I've done to it and everything like that. But I think this is a nice uh, 500 subscriber uh, win, don't you? And uh, this week, I'm also going to come back and do the napkins. I didn't forget about that, guys. I just got pulled to other things. I'm going to pick two winners for the napkins this week. So I'll come back on with that. But I just wanted to get this out here and let you guys see this, what you're going in for. And uh, like I said, you don't have to do nothing but tell me I'm in. Okay? Just put that down below before the 15th. We'll do the drawing, and again, thank you guys so, so very much for being here with me. I appreciate every single solitary one of you guys, and I'm so honored and blessed to have you guys commenting and watching and paying attention to my videos. I've got a lot coming up this year. Uh, I think my big stuff is over with, thank goodness, I hope, with the house for now, um, so I can go forward with some more videoing, and I get back out here with you guys. So, guys, uh, I hope everything is going well in your world. I hope you had a wonderful, wonderful new year. And I can't wait to see what we've got coming up thus far. So, guys, I love you, love you, love you. Mwah. I hope you have a wonderful day, wonderful week. Don't forget to say me too or I'm in underneath. And let me know if you want in for this, uh, I think, beautiful book. This is one of the first ones that I've made. Uh, so, I hope you like it. And guys, until next time, be crafty, be cool, and I'll see you when I'm looking at you, all right? Bye-bye.